The company whose stock I will tell you about today has gained 400% in the last six months, 826% since the beginning of the year and naturally 1214% in the past year. In this video, I will give you all the information you need to know about this company from A to Z. All my viewers who have been consistently watching my videos without missing any know that in the last three months I've shared dozens of different companies similar to AMPX with you, and most of them have gone up by hundreds of percent in a short time. If you want to do yourself even a little favor, watch this video and my other videos until the very end so you don't miss out on these opportunities. So let's begin. Hydrograph Clean Power is a Canada-based company that produces high-quality graphene and nanomaterials. The company was founded in 2017 and, through an exclusive license signed with Kansas State University, manufactures both graphene and hydrogen using a detonation reaction. Hydrograph's Hyperion system has a modular design and is considered the lowest energy-consuming, zero-waste production platform form in the industry. The fractal graphene produced by Hydrograph is a type of ultra-pure graphene, and according to the company, its carbon content is between 99.8 to 99.9 percent. .9%. This material is extremely thin and lightweight while possessing exceptional strength and electrical conductivity. For example, as noted on Hydrograph's website, its graphene is stronger than steel, harder than diamond, and more electrically conductive than copper. The verified graphene producer certificate issued by the Graphene Council also shows that Hydrograph meets independently verified high standards in graphene production. Currently, it is only the third company in the world to receive such certification and the only certified graphene producer in the United States. Hydrograph Clean Power focuses mainly on two product categories, graphene and hydrogen. Its patented detonation process ignites a mixture of hydrocarbon and oxygen with low energy to produce highly pure graphene. The system is modular, meaning it is small in size and can be easily adapted to different production environments. In the future, a planned production facility in Texas is expected to increase annual capacity to over 350 tons. This will be a key step towards scaling up the company's production to mass levels. Hydrograph's types of graphene have various surface functionalities, such as reactive graphene, which allows it to be added to acids, polymers, and resins to create specialized materials. The company is therefore focused on expanding the applications of graphene, for example in automotive, aerospace, composite materials, protective coatings, energy storage, and even medical sensors. Hydrograph also carries out projects with several prestigious academic and industrial partners. For instance, in research conducted with Arizona State University, it was found that adding Hydrograph's graphene to concrete mixtures increased early compressive strength by 70% and 28-day strength by 15%. This is an important result showing practical proof of the company's purity and performance advantages. Such strength increases contribute to carbon and replacement and sustainability in construction materials. On the other hand, Hydrograph is also entering the medical technology field. In 2025, it announced a collaboration with Hawkeye Bio and Ease Healthcare on a lung cancer screening test. Here, Hydrograph's ultra-pure graphene is used as the core component of nanosensors, enabling early-stage lung cancer detection by measuring blood enzyme activity. The company's CEO, Gersten Brewer, stated that such scientific and healthcare applications will expand in the coming years, opening the door for the use of graphene in various medical diagnostics. Such research and pilot projects validate the company's technology in different industries and show long-term collaboration potential. Hydrograph's board and management team have experience in graphene and high technology. The company's CEO, Gersten Brewer, leads technology and business partnerships. The research direction of the enterprise is led by Dr. Ranjit Divagalpidia, who, according to the company, is responsible for ensuring that graphene production processes are consistent and stable. Financial matters are managed by newly appointed Matt Anderson. The leadership's previous experience and focus on technology are highlighted as deep manufacturing and commercialization expertise. According to Hydrograph's financial report so far, revenues are very small while losses are significant. In the first quarter of 2025, the company's sales were only about $22,632, and due to very high operating costs, the net loss was about $1.0 eight million dollars. In the 2024 fiscal year, the pre-tax net loss was approximately $5.33 million. Therefore, despite steady stock market growth over the past three years, the company's financial situation is unstable, with revenues declining and losses expanding. For example, the $2.98 million loss in 2022 grew to $5.33 million in 2024. The company is currently seeking additional funding to cover operating expenses and is trying to benefit 
benefit from various support funds, including government subsidies. Overall, in terms of both revenue and operating profit, the company's indicators are negative. Relevant ratios are also negative or near zero, meaning valuation multiples such as P.E. and P.S. are not yet determined for this company. At present, the company is trying to minimize its debt load. According to the latest data, its total debt is less than $250,000 and liquid assets are around $0.78 million. However, the lack of revenue-generating commercial projects so far signals risk for investors. Before moving on to analysts' price forecasts for this company's stock, I want to mention that my target is to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of September. If we can reach 1,000 subscribers by then, I will share all the stocks I hold in my portfolio with you. If that sounds interesting, subscribe to my channel right now so we can reach our 1,000 subscriber goal. On stock platforms and analytical websites, there are different opinions about the price of Hydrograph's shares. One of the things I don't understand is why there is so little interest globally, and especially in America, in new and promising projects like this. For some reason, when shares of such potential companies trade at $2 to $3, nobody wants to get close to them, but when the price goes up to unrealistic levels, everyone rushes in to invest. For example, this company we are talking about is still ignored by many analysts and even by famous brokerage firms. A big example of this is that Western banks, major broker houses, and even popular American platforms like Yahoo Finance and MarketBeat have not yet shown much interest or conducted sufficient analysis on this company. In fact, none of these platforms have set any price targets for Hydrograph Clean Power. On the other hand, some investors and platforms have very contradictory opinions. For example, financial newsletter writer Jay Taylor has called Hydrograph an investment with not 10x but 100x upside potential. He specifically emphasized the possibility of the stock increasing 10 to 100 times from its current price and gave it a buy recommendation. Taylor's analysis points to the stock's rise of more than 1,200% over the past year, and he even mentioned that he allocated 85% of his portfolio to this stock. However, according to the analyst consensus on a platform like TipRanks, the company's average 12-month target price is about 2.00 Canadian dollars, which is slightly lower than the current price. TipRanks also shows that a moderate sell recommendation has been given. Another analyst aggregator, Fintel, set the company's target price on the U.S. market market at cents, with an average of about 68 cents. Yes, these price targets are very risky, but the sources that set them are not the most widely referenced ones in America, meaning the main reliable sources we usually rely on for forecasts have chosen to remain silent on this company for now. Check out the other videos I've posted about different companies and make sure to subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch and have plenty of discussions in the comments as valuable investors like you. By the way, I've also pinned the link to our WhatsApp channel, where we share daily posts at the very top of the comments.